Hello, YouTube. We're in the kitchen again. Hello, YouTube. Angie is in the living room. Uh, okay, this is what it is. We are making beer can chicken. All right. So we can use any chicken that we got. So we got this. We got to open it up and all that stuff. So we got to have this. Now, you do need a beer can. Uh, full, especially a full one, okay? That's what you need, a full can of beer. Uh, now, to, now, to hold it in place and brace it, uh, otherwise you can do a beer can by itself, but you really need something to brace it with. So we got this contraption. I got this at a store that's not in business no more. Uh, I got this a couple years ago, uh, two years ago. And I used it previously on the channel before. So basically what we do is we put the open can of beer in this slot. This and we'll put the chicken over the can. This should help brace the chicken in place. And you're gonna have to place it in a pan like this. Or any pan with that's deep enough because the oil and grease from the chicken will drip uh, from there easily. And you're also gonna need uh, some melted butter. Not the whole tub, just some. Because we're gonna because once we get the melted butter, we're going to base it on the outside skin and we're going to put in a, on top, in a hole, I'll show you a little bit here, but I'll get out of the picture right now. Uh, get a potato, get a potato of any kind or a small onion will work too. That's going to put right on top the hole uh, on the chicken. I'll show you in a little bit here. Plus. You may, because you're going to slow cook this and prevent from uh, chicken from drying out and the skin drying out, uh, use some aluminum foil. Uh, yeah, we got aluminum foil in this little contraption, so use some aluminum foil there too. So, okay, right now we're going to mount you someplace else. We'll go step by step how to do the beer can chicken. Okay, now we're going to do uh, step by step. I'm going to preheat the oven for 250 degrees because we're going to slow cook it for about five hours. Uh, okay, so now we open up a can of beer. Cheap beer, prefer, and we put it uh, in this slot, but be very, very, very careful because that's a tight fit. So now it's a tight fit there. And no, I did not take a sip out of it. Now we're going to open up our raw chicken and just slide it over the beer can. Just like that. Now there's gonna be a hole up here. Get rid of that the fat. There's gonna be another neck up here, so we wanna remove that. If not, don't worry about it. It will move later. Okay. Just like that. Okay, we got the melted butter. What we're going to do is we're going to base it. We're going to base the butter on the chicken. This will help uh, keep it moist. You can season this if you want with chicken seasoning or whatever season you want, but we're not going to season this chicken. Maybe we should for flavor, but I think butter is good enough for flavor. So after we got this uh, pretty well basted, okay we're good there. We'll put a potato on top. See I did the potato right there. Hope you guys can see this. See? Hope you guys can see that. Okay, there's Mr. Chicken. And now we're gonna put some foil uh, over it. Don't have to be perfectly wrapped up on it. Just Make sure it all openings are closed. And we're 
put this in the oven at 250 degrees for about five hours. Then about the last hour of its cooking, then we'll bump the temperature up to uh, 375 degrees. <coughs> okay, now we got it all wrapped, like you see right here, it's all wrapped. Now we'll put it in the oven. Make sure, when you guys do the oven, make sure you get the wonder racks out of the oven and use the lowest rack. Because, you, because the chicken's going to be standing up in the oven. So basically, once we get it in the oven, it's going to be in the oven sitting something like that, okay? So make sure your extra racks are out of there with the lowest rack in place. And now the chicken's in there. And for 250 degrees for five hours there. Okay, uh, I'm going to do some errands off camera. We'll come back in about five hours. We'll check on it. it. Yeah, we can smell it. Hey, uh, okay, we're, we decided to cook it for at 250 degrees for about six hours instead of the five hours. Besides that, now I can say hello, YouTube. Yeah, now you can say hello, YouTube. Okay. Right now, let's check it out and see what we got so far. Uh, I guarantee it's not burnt because we're only slow cooked it at, uh, for the last six hours. I know I said earlier in this video five hours, but we got a little busy. So this was a good idea why we slow cooked this thing, uh, basically. So right now let's take a look at it, see what we got done. And we'll take the foil off, and I think the final hour, I think it will raise up the temperature to 375 for another 45 minutes to an hour, and it will be done. Hi, okay. Mr. Potato Head. Okay, uh, that's our chicken right now. Looking pretty good so far. Skin wise, not too tough. Pretty tender, pretty hot. And now we're going to raise the temperature up to 375, uh, about right in there. And we're going to cook it for another hour to 45 minutes. And we'll slice it up and see what we got. And, we'll, and this is what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it as is, right here. So we're gonna put it in as is. Now we got the chicken in as is. You can see the heat coils is on. Close the oven door. Stay warm in there, okay? Okay. About 45 minutes to an hour, we should be good to go. Okay, there it is. As you see, by raising the temperature, you see the steam's coming out. Coming out pretty nicely. Should be cooked really well. Nice and hot. Uh, let it cool off a little bit and take off the uh, take it off the uh, thing and uh, cut it up and serve it. And there's Angie's plate. Yep. Just that and one side, and that looks like a meal to you, right? Yes. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's what the beer can looks like after it's all done cooking. There's my plate, and got a couple pieces left for later. Uh, we'll close out this video on the patio. Oh, Angie wants me to finish the video here instead on the patio. It's too cold. Yeah, it's been below temperatures for this yes. time of year. Now he's got to get his this. Yep. No yep. more. All right, that was good beer can chicken. I yep. hope you guys enjoy how we put it together. Oh, by the way, you guys can season this uh, the outside with any seasoning. Uh, you can also bread the chicken if you wanted to. You guys can use any can of beer, too. Yeah, and she said it. Any can of beer. Or a pop. Oh, yeah, we tried a pop one time. It works just as good. So, mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't like the beer in, just try it with a soda. And you guys, uh, they, they sell those things on Amazon, too. Okay, those contraptions? Yes. Okay, yeah. It's called a beer can chicken holder, right? Yep. Something like that. So, uh, check it out on Amazon. Order yourself and try it uh, one of these days. Uh, for me, slow cooking it was good, um, and we speed it up a little bit. Just going to let you know, just be aware of some smoke in the uh, when you do that, because it will, uh, it will the beer will boil and it will create a little smoky effect. So uh, just be aware of that, okay? Yep. Otherwise, it was good. It was good. Yeah. All right, let's get it's, this. Is, I think this is a good video. I think. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let's go ahead and end the video. All right, please like, share, subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> please like, share, subscribe, don't 
Mister. Please like, share, <laughs> please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow until we figure out what our lines are for closing these videos. All right, see ya.